Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, and I've got to say I'm very, 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 very delighted to be joined by Femke Hermans. Femke, you're in the North East here, you're in Savannah Marshall's home sort of area. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling very good. Uh, it has been a very long trip to come over here, uh, but I'm feeling good, I'm feeling uh, prepared, happy, so uh, I'm looking forward to Saturday. Talk to me about Savannah Marshall now. She's 11 wins, 9 knockouts, big puncher, she's tall. She's rangy. Um, is she the, is she going to be the toughest? I know you fought Clarissa Shields, but when you look at the punching power from Clarissa, uh, Savannah Marshall, is she the toughest opponent so far in your career? Um, I fought also Ellen Sideros. She's uh, also a champion at uh, super middleweight. So uh, she was also a, a hard hitting girl. Um, and we, wow, well, we uh, it was a split decision. So yeah, we will see on Saturday. Uh, for me. My most difficult until now was uh, Shields because of her speed. Um, she has a, a big career, career at amateurs, so she has a lot of speed. And uh, my type of boxing is not uh, like this, so that's why I had it difficult. I feel more comfortable with the way the Savannah box because it's it's more in, in, in my game plan and everything. But we will see on Saturday. Clarissa Shields is going to be their ringside. Obviously, there's all there's talk about Savannah and Clarissa Shields. Are they forgetting about you? Are they already thinking that you've lost and that there's a foregone conclusion that Savannah Marshall win next is Clarissa Shields, but you're not you're not there to lose? No, I'm not coming over to lose. Uh, I'm coming over to take the belt back home. Um, so, yeah, uh, we will see on Saturday if she has been mistaken and uh, looking too much uh, ahead uh, forward to Shields. Um, you have to do... Boxing is fight by fight. You can think it will be an easy fight, but you never know. One po punch is enough. So I hope uh, she, she reminds that this fight is also important. I'm here to get back at the top level uh, after some difficult years, so I'm more than motivated motivated and uh, yeah. Savannah did say that you are her toughest test to date and uh, it's been a year in the making for you two so I don't think Savannah she's very very calculated that she ain't looking past you because she knows how tough a fighter you are. Yeah, uh, yeah it's uh, already a long time that uh, we would fight uh, each other so uh, but, but at the end, in the beginning, I, it was difficult for me, especially because yeah, uh, in fight week, when the moment we had to leave, uh, my uh, manager to, uh, had COVID, uh, and I hoped that we could uh, re reschedule the fight, but they took uh, Maria Lindbergh instead. So uh, yeah, I was hoping to make the fight uh, anyway, and I'm really happy that we do it now. And uh, yeah, I hope for her that you don't pa look past me. One final one from me then, a two-weight world champion. How does that sound? It sounds very good and that's why I'm here uh, to do it because uh, it, for me already we have Delphine Person in Belgium, the, she was 10 years, uh, really, 10 times reigning WBC champion, and she made history and so I can make history of my own in Belgium so I would be, I would love to do it. There you go. Well, thank you so much for doing this 5 TV and uh, I'll see you tomorrow at the weigh-in. Thank you very much Femke.